I am about to deal with a demonstration entitled Three Sets is NP Complete. First, it is required to prove that SAT is NP Complete, and then to prove that it is possible to reduce a problem of SAT to a problem of three sets. SAT is the set of problem of checking whether a formula composed of variables, logic or and, logic and, is satisfiable or, or not. A formula is satisfiable if there is a configuration of the variables that satisfies the formula. To show that SAT is NP complete, it is required to encode a Turing machine that works in non-deterministic polynomial in a formula. Here the variables are going to encode all the aspects of the machine. For example, there will be a variable that will have the value true if and only if the cell number i contains the character number j at the step number k. To be clear, I must explain how the Turing machine are going to be interpreted. A Turing machine is composed of a type with cells in it, and each cell contains one character of an alphabet. The machine also has a head that can read one cell at each step, and depending on what the head reads and also of the state of the machine, it is possible to change the character written in the cell or to move the head to the left or to the right. And this is described by the rules of the machine that are encoded in it and tells how it works. I also mentioned that the machine must work in polynomial time. It means that there exists a polynomial P such that if the entry has size n, then the machine must finish before the step P of n. It also means that the size used in the memory, which is the type, can be at least P of n. So it is possible to put all the successive types in a table of size P of n by P of n, where the line number k is the whole type at uh, step k, and the column number i represents the evolution of the cell number i during the execution of the machine. But the position of the head and the current state of the machine must also be represented. So these will be represented in two columns next to the table. The variables of the formula are going to describe every possibility of each cell of this big table. The variable c i j k is true if and only if the cell number i contains the character number j at step number k. The variable t i k is true if and only if the head is at position i at step k. And the variable q q k is true if and only if the machine is in the state q at step k. This makes a lot of variables because i, j, k and q can take lots of values, but it will be a polynomial number of variables, so it will still be polynomial. Now the formula must express all the conditions of the machine. c i j i 0 must be true when g i is the initial value of the cell number i. q q 0 must be true when q is the initial state of the machine. T00 must be true because it is the initial position of the head. Cijk must be true for exactly 1j because there is always exactly one character in a cell. Tik must be true when Cijk and Cij'K plus 1 are true because to write in a cell the head must be in that position. QQK must be true for exactly one Q because the machine has always exactly one current state. TIK must be true for exactly one I because the head has exactly one position. There is this big formula that expresses all the possible transitions of the machine and it is mandatory to enter in the accept state because else the machine would not accept the formula. Combining all of this gives this horrible formula that no one ever wants to see. But now that you are convinced that that is NP complete, let's prove that 3SAT is harder than SAT. And when I say harder, I mean that if you know how to do 3SAT, then you also know how to do SAT. So SAT is simpler. 3SAT is the set of problem of checking whether a formula of some form is decidable. And the form is a conjunction of disjunction of at most three variables. It means A or B or C and D or E or F and and so on. And it is known that a formula of SAT can be written as a conjunction of disjunction. It means A or B or C or and so on and D or E or F or and so on and and so on. 
so it is sufficient to transform all the disjunction of more than three variables into a conjunction of disjunction of exactly three variables. Suppose the disjunction is the disjunction for i equals 1 to k of li. This formula is true if and only if at least one of the li is true, and therefore it is not possible to just separate the variables. Then one can add k minus 3 variables, called z3 to zk minus 1, such that zi will indicate that no variable lj is true for j strictly smaller than i. More precisely, it means that if at least one of the li is true, then it is possible to find a configuration of the zi such that the following formula is true. Therefore, it is possible to transform an instance of sat into an instance of 3 sat by applying this process on all the disjunction of the formula of sat. And this transformation is easy enough to say that this is a correct transformation and to say that sat is easier than 3 sat. So, 3 sat is NP hard. Also, it is possible to check in polynomial time if a configuration of the variables satisfies the formula. So 3 sat is in NP. 3 sat is NP hard and in NP, and this is the definition of being NP complete. Quid erat demonstrandum? Youplaboom, c'est la fête!